All right, what's up, guys? It's Heat. Um, so, the Nemesis and Domination Leagues have ended, and I wanted to do a video on my thoughts about the leagues, and I'm going to do some videos on the two builds that I use um, for the Nemesis Leagues, because one of them was pretty cool, and this one on this character I didn't really like so much, but whatever, I'll make a video about, about it anyway. So, uh... Besides the the stash apocalypse that happens during the during the merging of the leagues um, that I'm going through right now and sorting through the stashes is kind of crazy, but uh, I I enjoy the uh, the Nemesis League a lot. Uh, I only play hardcore, but I'm going to touch on on both leagues because I did end up playing both leagues uh, for reasons that I will uh, mention later. So. Um, I actually liked it better than the previous 4 month league, Onslaught. Onslaught was just uh, increased speed, which is like, eh, okay, it's like whatever. Um, I mean, you, you have to play differently because things move faster and so it does affect gameplay in, in that way, but it wasn't really that interesting. Um, so, but the Nemesis League is actually uh, pretty interesting. When, when the two leagues were announced, the, the Nemesis and the Domination League, uh, I thought the Domination League w was actually cooler, right? Like, I was like, oh, you can touch shrines and get these cool powers and stuff, and oh, Nemesis is only, it, it, they only have mods on them, the rare enemies, it's like, whatever. Uh, but after playing both leagues, um, I think that Nemesis is, is better, uh, and for a couple reasons. And so the reason I think it's better is because um, the mods that you get on rare enemies, it really makes you uh, think about how you're playing, uh, change the way you play a little bit, and, uh, and also it has a great effect on what type of flasks you use and whether you're paying attention, you have to pay attention more. So it alters the gameplay and uh, your strategic like, thinking towards the game. Uh, so it adds more depth to the game, in my opinion, uh, because you have mods like corrupted, uh, corrupting blood, which if you're not paying attention, and you have a crazy like mod uh, on a rare enemy in addition to the corrupting blood, like I've almost died in under two seconds, and if I wasn't paying attention, I would have actually died. But I was like specifically looking at my health to make sure I wasn't dying, and. I have stuff rolled like removes bleeding because that's essential to surviving corrupting blood. And now I've also rolled stuff like dispel shock because of storm herald. Uh, now storm herald is pretty cool because it's very dangerous and it's dependent on uh, and it's more dangerous the harder the enemy hits. So like the way the mechanics work on that, I would do some research just so um, you understand how that mechanic works. Uh, I think the way it works is like the heavier the mob, uh, the mob hits like for example a rock one of those rock guys that roll around they hit pretty hard so their storm herald is actually going to hit uh, harder than like a, a tiny spider storm herald so uh, storm herald was pretty cool my first I ripped to storm herald the first time uh, my first rip on a level I don't know 60 character or something like that <laughs> in fell shrine which I've never died in fell shrine before but that killed me so uh, then I rolled dispel shock and uh, I was able to handle that that mechanic much better and I think I still playing in groups people are still really afraid of that mechanic uh, of storm herald but if you really know what you're doing uh, you can actually avoid getting hit by it and not run away like a lot of people just tend to run just run away and, and try to kite it but uh, if if you do enough damage and your DPS is high you can just straight out attack it and uh, kill it pretty fast and just run circles around it because the Storm Herald will target where you're at but then you can just move around it in circles so uh, that's one aspect uh, of Nemesis that was really cool and there's other mods like Inner Treasure that that's guaranteed a, a unique drop even though unique the uniques might not be that good it's still kind of cool uh, so in the Domination League, uh, I played Domination because there was a one-week race where it combined both of the leagues, so it combined Nemesis and Domination into one week, into one one-week race, 
which was kind of cool. And there was a one-week domination race that I also participated in. Um, and, I mean, it's cool. Uh, the shrines are interesting. Uh, the buffs are pretty cool, but they don't last that long. And it doesn't really alter the way you play. You can play more aggressive because the shrines are beneficial, but it just depends on, on the map mods and how dangerous the maps are and the areas that you're playing in. But it, it didn't make me think about the game in a way that uh, Nemesis did, and it didn't challenge me in a way that Nemesis did. So I'm glad that... Uh, so apparently GGG has said that they're keeping um, some... Uh, uh, the Nemesis mod aspect, but it'll occur less frequently. So not every rare uh, enemy will have it, uh, but it'll still happen on occasion. Uh, same with the shrines. So they kept some elements uh, of of the gameplay that they used in both leagues, uh, but to a lesser extent, they won't be as frequent as they were in the actual leagues. So that's kind of cool. So. Um, the other, the other, th the other thing that was interesting about these leagues uh, were that I think these were the leagues that went out with the official launch, and in this league, in the Nemesis League, maybe it's from experience playing a lot of hours of Path of Exile, probably played over like a thousand hours, but uh, I have, and so I've, I have a lot of experience, a lot of knowledge that allows me to grind better, uh, to know how to gain currency. Uh, a wealth faster, efficiently, um, do maps when I should level, what areas I should level in, things like that. So, um, in this, in Nemesis, I I acquired more wealth than I did in my entirety of playing Path of Exile, and part of it probably has to do with the large player base that came in with uh, the actual release, because there were huge trade channels, and I am able, and I was able to trade quite frequently and often because people were looking for it uh, that you know the, the trading economy had a bigger player base therefore it allowed me to gain wealth easier so that was kind of cool so I'm looking forward to the next um, to the next leagues which have been announced I think it's invasion and invasion for hardcore and I forget the softcore one uh, but there, you can check it out on GGG. There's some teaser screenshots. There's some uh, corrupted items and stuff. So those leagues look really cool. Uh, so we'll, I'm pretty hyped for those leagues. And uh, you know, if you have any comments, just leave them in the comments section. Your thoughts on the Nemesis League, on the Domination League. Uh, all right. Thanks for watching.